Five more minutes. Five more minutes. clock get some wake up music going on here oh yeah this is my jam oh. Zombies do exist. Holy crap. Oh well, guess what? I'm safe inside my house. I got my cereal. I'm gonna get my milk. I'm gonna have breakfast. Ah. Fruity pebbles. Yeah. No. 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 Huh. No. No. How can I run out of milk? Especially during the zombie apocalypse. Hey everyone, Scott here with the Illinois Prepper Channel, and welcome back. In the beginning of this video, we start talking about that zombie apocalypse. Is it ever going to happen? I sincerely doubt it. But it's always fun to poke fun at it. As we noticed in the first part of the video here, I was eating my breakfast, and what do you know, of course, it, I ran out of milk. Because I am one of those guys in the beginning of the video that is not prepared. So there's a couple things that I could do. One is eat my cereal without milk, which just isn't right by any means, or hop in my truck, drive to the grocery store, and fight the hordes of people that are going to be looking for food. For me personally, neither of those are acceptable. That is one reason why I have actually started to stock up on Gossner Foods, their shelf-stable milk. The way that the milk is actually shelf stable is it actually comes from a cow. Don't worry about that. It's not coming from goat or yak or dog. Dog? Anyways. But what they do is they take the milk, bringing it up to an ultra high temperature of, uh, I believe it's 248 degrees, letting it sit there for, for a few seconds, and then rapidly cooling it. This is pretty much almost like the canning process of meats, vegetables, you name it. So it's the exact same process as that, which will give you a shelf-stable milk for about uh, eight months to a year on average. Now I know what a lot of you are probably thinking, how does it actually taste? Shockingly, it tastes like milk. I tried it two ways. First one was just uh, right out of the carton, which it was drinkable, wasn't the best, but, hey, it's sustenance. Then I actually cooled it in the refrigerator 
and shockingly, tasted like everyday store-bought milk, which is always a good thing. And since it is actual milk, you're not actually losing any of the nutritional value. I've tried this milk. I've also tried powdered milk. Between the two, Gostner Foods, their milk wins hands down. So if you're looking for a shelf-stable milk that doesn't require water to actually make it, check them out. A lot of it can be found at the dollar store. Uh, dollar Tree, Emergency Essentials also has it. But it's something definitely to look into, something definitely to possibly have in your preps. And I know I'm going to keep on buying it. With that being said, y'all take care. Have a great night. Stay safe. God bless. And we will be seeing you guys in future videos. I know I've been slacking on actual production lately. For that, I do apologize. Just life has been very, very, very hectic. Working full time, spending as much time with my family, my dogs, my girlfriend. Life just gets hectic. But I'm starting to dedicate more time to this so that way I can share some of my knowledge with you and hopefully help you all become a little bit more prepared. So you guys take care.